Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be doing an update of the event that we were able to detect a couple of years ago in 2017 when these two neutron stars collided and created an incredible show for the astronomers around the world. Today we're going to be talking about what we've discovered since the original detection and what we have able to learn about this particular um, event. And just to give you a quick reminder of what's actually happened here, so we have discovered these two neutron stars that were slowly spiraling toward each other and creating these gravitational waves that we were able to detect using the super famous LIGO detector. The super large L-shaped detector that has these really really long 4 km long tubes that is able to detect very accurately and very precisely any kind of a modification of space-time around us. And so this particular collision, as it happened, um, created a tremendously large kilonova, basically a tremendous supernova uh, that was very, very, very powerful, that emitted a variety of different frequencies and actually uh, became brighter and brighter over the weeks. And all of this happened in another galaxy known as NGC 4993 that you see right there. And it's a galaxy that's about 130 million light years away from our planet Earth. And following the actual explosion, we've also detected gamma rays that were um, caught by another device, specifically NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Observatory, and we were able to then connect uh, these two detections into a single event. And although back then this was already a pretty great achievement, since then we were also able to learn a lot of new things. And let's actually talk briefly about some of them. So first of all, we discovered that the two masses here um, of each of these objects is approximately 1.3 masses of the Sun each. These were basically solar-sized uh, or solar-mass uh, neutron stars that then, when they exploded, created a black hole. Upon the actual collision, about 95% of the total mass became a black hole and only about 5% of the total mass was released as a tremendously powerful explosion and actually created a variety of interesting molecules. And this was the confirmation for us that this right here is how pretty much most of the heavy elements in the universe are made. Here's actually a kind of a revised version of the uh, table of elements where you can see that the merging neutron stars are responsible for producing quite a lot of various elements and some of them, like for example, um, all of these elements, including things like polonium, are actually only made when two neutron stars merge. And as you can see, uranium is also one of those things that's made only in the neutron star collision meaning that these tremendously powerful events are responsible for producing, um, well, our nuclear reactors. So everything that we use for nuclear power today was one day created in this super powerful explosion that you see right here, billions of years ago before our planet Earth was formed. And all these materials were then spread across the galaxy and many of them made it to our solar system where it's now deposited on, on the planet Earth, mined by the humans and used for energy. We've also learned that quite a tremendous amount of gold is created in these events and mostly almost all of the gold in the universe is made um, during the neutron star collision and when we calculated how much of it was made we were pretty surprised. It's um, okay it's easier if I actually show you the amount instead of telling you the number and here is what this gold bowl looks like compared to our planet earth. Um, it's essentially a tremendously massive piece of gold um, that was created during this event. Now, um, it's sort of equivalent to, I guess, uh, a moon of some sorts, but uh, when you think about it, this was just one single neutron star collision, and many, many of these events occurred, so pretty much all of the gold uh, that we have on our planet Earth was made uh, during such an event. And just to give you a bit of a perspective, one of those neutron stars, if you, if you were to place it right next to our planet Earth, this is what it would actually look like. It's very, very, very small. Only uh, possibly about 12 kilometers in diameter, and essentially 1.3 masses of the sun. A single one of these objects would be um, super powerful, but two of these are ridiculously powerful. And when they collide, they create a very, very big explosion, which we're going to finish this video with by essentially having two of these objects fall into each other. But for now, let's just get away from here. And so this is kind of what all of this looks like um, in comparison to Earth. Now, a few months after the discovery of the actual uh, collision, we also found out that each of these stars was about 11 billion years old, 
And for the entire time since their creation, they were slowly spiraling toward each other. So basically, it took them 11 billion years to finally collide with one another and create this explosion. But there was actually one mystery that we couldn't answer until very recently, specifically the study that came out only a few weeks ago. And the mystery was in regards to a sudden brightening um, following weeks and weeks of observation. So for the most part, all of this kind of settled down and uh, pretty much the entire system became less and less bright because basically all of the radiation slowly died down, but then suddenly it became bright again and we couldn't really explain what's happening there. Specifically, we actually started detecting quite a lot of highly energetic rays coming out of the system. And a lot of these rays were moving close to the speed of light, so there was a new mystery. And this mystery was recently answered by the team behind this paper right here. And you can obviously find the paper for this in the description below. So what did they actually discover? What, what they discovered is that, as we suspected, this particular event definitely produced the black hole. And what we know about black holes is that once you make a black hole, if it has some kind of a material around it, specifically any kind of a mass or really anything in the vicinity, it will eventually start eating all of it up and produce the accretion disk, but also extremely powerful astrophysical jets with material moving close to the speed of light. And that's exactly what we're actually seeing from the system. We're seeing the material that's moving really fast and very energetic and most likely produced by a tremendously uh, small but very powerful black hole in the middle. And the way that this was detected is actually quite brilliant as well. To see this with extreme detail and to essentially be able to analyze all of this data, the scientists behind this paper used all of these telescopes that you see on the screen right here located around the planet to essentially use them as a kind of a super large lens where all of this data was collected, combined, and then analyzed to try to establish what's really happening in this particular system. And as we thought, they discovered that it's a relatively small, powerful black hole that's collecting all of this dust, eating it up, and spitting it out in astrophysical jets. And although the result itself is not really surprising, the way that they were able to confirm all of this is actually pretty brilliant. Uh, just the fact that they were able to use so many telescopes, specifically 32 different telescopes around the planet, and combine the data from all of them to see a tremendously detailed um, information from this location 130 million light years away from us, that's, that's pretty epic. That's just absolutely mind-blowing. And so, because of this study, we are now absolutely certain that when two neutron stars collide, um, not only do they produce pretty much most of the heavy elements in the universe, but they also produce a very powerful black hole that then emits even more stuff. And so, for now, that's really all we know about this particular event that happened two years ago, but I'm pretty sure that in two years from now, we will discover even more incredible things about it. Until then, though, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, and share this with someone who you think may enjoy space videos. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, and I'll see you tomorrow. Space out. Bye-bye.